Hello YouTubers, uh, I want to give you an update to show you uh, the next little, uh, I don't know, let's call it set in the window light. Uh, solar powered, uh, these little light strips got this, uh, they got the small LEDs in there, can you see them? Them are Cree LEDs, and they put out quite a bit more light than the regular little LEDs. I'll stop, slow down here so maybe you can get a focus. But anyway, those are those Cree LEDs. That two little strips actually comes with a little adapter on it that uh, steps it down to 12 volts. So those are 12 volts. I just cut the adapter off the end of it. They come with a little switch on it and they connect and I just put them on this side. I put this on here so you could lay it down and not uh, interfere with the strips that are on there. Let me, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I lay it down so I can get my solar, you see my strips don't touch. So what you see there is, is a 5 watt Harbor Freight solar panel that has been epoxied. I know I'm a big fan of epoxy. I epoxy everything. So I epoxied that onto the back side of that. And uh, anything really under 15 watts, you don't need a charge controller uh, or a charge circuit on it. Uh, and that's just 5 watts, so I'm well within that tolerance. Uh, let me show you a couple features I put on it. I put a, a cigarette charger or 12 volt output on it, right? So that enables me to charge cell phones, uh, MP3 player, notebook computer, uh, iPhone, whatever, because uh, you got them the little adapters that can go to USB port. Uh, what I use for batteries in that is uh, that little box is an inch and a quarter thick, or these pieces are an inch and a quarter thick. There's an extra quarter, an extra quarter, so it's uh, about an inch and three quarters in total. But uh, that's big enough that you can hack one of them old DeWalt drill batteries. I had some laying around that no longer took a charge and giving me problems, and I reconditioned batteries. And, I put them on a reconditioner charger and it didn't, couldn't get them to hold and I jump started them, did all that stuff you're supposed to do with my ICAD batteries. And I took the drill batteries apart eventually and uh, bumped each one of them separately and put them on a reconditioner charger and found a few of them that are still good. And those are 1.2 volt NICAD batteries each. I think they're, you know, if there's like an 18 volt drill pack, you'll have, you know, however many it takes in there. So there's quite a few under 15, 16 in there. Uh, they're 1.9 amp hours a piece. Uh, so I made, so I put enough in them of the 1.2 volts in series to make a 12 volt battery. That is two amp hours. So that one row of them would be uh, 24 watts. 24 watts and I got two rows in there so that little box there will store 48 watts of electrical power. Uh, I use it for setting in the window and lighting the house at night time but it's not too bad on a camping trip or a fishing trip either. Uh, it's not really rugged I know it's a little crude but I'm just uh, pleased as punch with that. Let me give you a shot of it with on. Now I took that home last night and uh, run it and you can see that's a fairly significant amount of light I took that home last night and run that thing for uh, six hours and uh, I can say the brightness was more six hours ago but it's still that is only a five watt draw and them Cree LEDs really put out good amount of lumens per watt I think it says on the box that one watt of Cree LED is equal to 11 watts of incandescent. If that is true, then that is equal to a 50 watt light bulb. Um, so a 5 watt draw off of, uh, I told you the box will store 48, we'll call it 50 watts. So just about 10 hour run time. Now, you know this is a pretty good deal for a storm and weather problems and disaster preparedness just to have around. Uh, not to mention, uh, you know, you can use it at night. You could put a small light on here 
that would come on when it got dark, you know, naturally, and then have another switch on it where it brightened up. So as I got to thinking about disaster preparedness, I thought, well, there's lots of applications. You know, there's no reason why a man wouldn't put a weather radio on this and he'd have a light and a weather radio and a charging station. And really, I even thought, well, I could get me a seven inch TV and put on there too, and then seven inch uh, LCD TVs. And that would be a hell of a man cave uh, operation there if you uh, uh, just took it out into any shed or any barn and threw it in there and you'd instantly have TV and lights and radio. Uh, but anyway, and I've got some more designs coming on this. Uh, I, I'm trying to be uh, not too forthcoming uh, on it. I might even try to make a product that uh, might be sellable out there on the market off of the, something similar to this. Uh, just rooted in design, not, not in this completely, or this doesn't uh, encompass all of it. But anyway, that box there is, uh, that Harbor Freight is... Uh, a solar panel is is uh, 12 inches, 13 inches by 16 or 18 inches. Um, I've been looking around for a high intensity solar panel, and I found them uh, that I can get 20 watts out of about the same size. And if I could get 20 watts out of the same size there on an average day of eight hours, uh, I ought to be able to store 150 watts. Now the battery I got in there is only just two rows which those uh, those batteries are only about an inch wide so the battery pack in there is actually glued in here in the center and just is in here so you can see I got plenty more area I could put enough battery in there where I could store 200 watts in that easily so uh, that's about probably the limit on something that would be uh, you know easy to pack around move around or set in the window Okay, well, that's it. That's it for this update. Uh, I think it's a pretty good little project for disaster preparedness, especially if you got your little FM radio that played off that cigarette lighter or a little LCD TV, and you could even run your little fan off of that. So there's all kinds of accessories that that, that little project would run. And it's a complete power system. You know, you don't have to go out and, well, if you're building it, you do, but if you were selling it, you know, that's a complete power system that just sits right in the window. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you got any questions or comments or ideas, uh, let me know.